Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and are we on the verge of a Halo renaissance? Is 343 really about to do the impossible? I feel like we were all so hyped after the Master Chief Collection had finally been, I guess, fixed and brought up to standards. And instead of just leaving it as it was, they kept adding more and more, and now we've gotten to the point where we have official mod support. But then Halo Infinite released, you know, and... That, that roller coaster of emotions of how good MCC had become to how Infinite released, you know, crash and burn. People were very upset again. Went back to the old, come on, 343, what the heck are y'all doing? But before we get into the video, I am so close to 10k subs. We're like 50 away. A huge milestone. I made a bet with one of my friends saying that we would hit it before September. We've got like three days or something like that. I know a ton of you watch my videos and don't subscribe. I see the analytics. You keep coming back. Just hit subscribe. We're going to have a 10k subscriber montage as well. It's going to be cool. And if you like Halo content, why wouldn't you sub? But let's get back into the video. So 343 obviously has been tight-lipped recently ever since Season 2 launch. There's been a little bit of communication here and there. Getch actually said that next week we're going to get a huge, hopefully huge, he talks about, you know, months and months worth of, uh, of a roadmap. So hopefully it's substantial. But what has really been keeping the community, you know, on some hopium has been all the leaks. And that includes Delta Index, Infinite Leaks, Halo Leaks... Serasia, Infinite Forges, I mean, the, the list goes on and on of people who are, you know, finding all these things in the files and making Forge concept pieces and stuff, so even more has come out recently. Somehow, I, I don't know how they're doing it, I, I really don't, they're magicians, but somehow they found the Rhino from the trailers in the in the game files obviously they're not finished but like what the heck how, how do you even how do you even find that oh oh he dead they've also dug up what a lot of people think is uh the the monster from one of the the trailers before the game came out you know he's walking in the desert you don't really see him but it's called the crusher and apparently he was cut out of the actual game he had like a little cave where he killed a bunch of marines and stuff but he's like a banished enslaved monster and it's just like nuts that they found it here's a comparison of uh him to a spartan and to i believe atriox so he's a he's a pretty beefy boy other things that have been leaked is basically like a ton of weapons. Uh, this is all like the UNSC weapons. And you see like the railgun, the SMG, the saw, the Spartan laser, the regular pump shotgun, the DMR. And in this one, you see all the, I guess, enemy faction weapons. And that's like the beam rifle, some weird other stuff, like an LMG that's like electro and everything. Like there's just so much to fuel rod cannon. They've also uncovered Promethean knights and other, I guess, units that were either cut from the campaign, you know, um, maybe will be coming in the future. I don't really know. There's been a ton of equipment leaked. It's just, it, it goes on and on. The Falcon. It's hard to actually keep up with everything that people are posting. Now, all that being said, we go back to the main premise of this video. Is 343 really about to turn this ship around? I know there's a lot of people that do not like the number company. I understand why. You know, we do polls on our, our channel all the time. And, you know, like the last one was like, do you love Halo? And a lot of people are like, yeah, I love Halo. I just don't like how it's being managed right now. And I get that. And I definitely don't think that the precedent of them, you know, working on MCC and turning into what it is now, that should not be like the norm. You would love to see the game actually release in its, you know, entirety. But unfortunately, that is not what we got. It's almost been a year now since the release of Halo Infinite. We've gone through two seasons that were six months long. We're still not done with the second one. But season three really does seem to be this new launching off point. We've speculated that 343 is going to do a relaunch of Halo Infinite, you know, brand new marketing and whatnot. And they're not going to do it until they have a substantial amount of stuff to show and to include. And we're going to get Forge, we're going to get co-op campaign, we're going to get new weapons and vehicles and maps and stuff. So I won't lie, this video is all about Hopium. But as always, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. I pretty much read every single comment, and I try to respond to, to most of them. Some of them are a little off the wall, you guys make me feel uncomfortable, but you know how it is. If you made it this far into the video, in the comments down below... 
put you sound like Ben Shapiro. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will catch you around the ring. Peace!